the first thing that I want to show you um, is some ways to sort the boards in the education team. And remember, when you log on, all that you will see is the instructor presentation board. And unfortunately, I wanted to make it so that you could only see your group's board, but I can't do that. So we're just going to have to be mindful that we're in group five and find the group five board. But let me show you something that makes it really nice to have all your boards in one place. Um, number one, I am viewing this in list view. I like list view, but if I come over here to the right, I can also get these shown in grid view. And what I did was I added a very specific picture of Highline Cartilage to our instructor presentation board. So I will add some pictures to um, groups one, two, three, four, five, six, but I just feel like this really makes it easy for you to spot our instructor presentation board and be like, yes that's what I'm looking for, instead of reading through all of these um, descriptions. Number two, when you are looking at boards, right, you can sort it from owned by you or owned by me, meaning Amy, right? So be careful of that. The other thing is you do have these options over here to look at them um, alphabetically, last created, right? But I would recommend that you always look at the last one modified. Because whether it's modified by me, you, or somebody else, it's always going to be the first one here on this tile. So beware of these. Now, a student said last night something that we always tend to forget when we're using software like this, is that there's always a search, right? So you can always search the instructor presentation board if you're um, confused about where to about where to find it, right? And look at the search. It also lets you search by owner, right? And you know that I own all of the presentation boards in class. Okay, so this lets you spot the boards very easily. What I would also suggest is while you're looking at the boards that you come down here and star the ones that are important to you. So for example, the instructor presentation board you should definitely star that. If you are in group five, and let's pretend I'm in group five, you should definitely star that. Because that means that when you come into the education team, which I'm in right now, I'm not in my personal Miro account, I'm in the education team. But when you come into the education team, you can just click this right up here, starred boards. And it just lists for you the ones that you have starred. Okay, so... That's one little video about viewing, finding, searching, and using starred boards. I'm going to make another video that shows you how to create your own board in my account. Um, and that makes, you know what, just watch the next video.